Hello folks, <laughs> shed's going to need another clean out at some point. So a mate of mine brought over this industrial charger and it does 24 volts, does 12 volts. And he told me uh, it wouldn't charge anymore. So I spent a bit of time trying to figure out what the problem was. It's almost like an April Fool's joke. So the first thing I noticed was the actual timer itself just didn't work. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, so I popped that out. I uh, recommended trying to find a replacement, but he said he didn't care about that. He said because what he could do is he could use this switch here to turn it on in manual mode here and leave it on for a long period of time. So the actual timer itself really wasn't a big issue. So I'll go ahead and refit that in a minute. But I still couldn't find out what the problem was with it. <laughs> so around the back, we have got a monstrosity of a transformer that is quite literally the size of my head. It's enormous. I've checked the uh, thermal cutout. Thermal cutout is fine, no problem at all. And um, and then I started working my way through the wiring in the back of this thing to try and figure out what the problem was. I used a current clamp meter and I popped the current clamp meter on various different areas in DC and AC current mode in order to figure out what was happening. Nothing was drawing much current at all. I still couldn't figure out what was going on. So eventually I started probing around with my meter and meter leads. This is the negative side of the bridge rectifier, right here. And then when we connect on to this guy over here, that's the positive side of the bridge rectifier. And as you can see, we've got a nice stable 24 volts there. And then I thought, okay, well I'll get up inside here. I put my test lead on the output of the 12 volt side of things. And guess what? Yeah, we got a nice 13 volts coming out of there. So it looked like the charger was all fine. And in fact, I think the charger is all fine. <laughs> because, guess what? April Fool's prank. <laughs> so here's a crocodile clip here, okay? And then there's another crocodile clip over there. And clearly what you do with these is you connect them up to your battery like that. And you can see that there's absolutely no current being drawn on the meter on the unit itself. You can also see under here that the fuse is not blown. That's all fine. And the weirdest thing, as I say, is you get on those terminals up inside there. And again, no problems. You can't see a problem with it. Anyway, let me show you what I found. So as I was doing this work, I noticed that inside this crocodile clip, there was no connection, zero connection. I don't know if you can see that there. It's difficult to do this one-handed, but if you look where my thumb is, about there, you can see that there's a, a burnt out electrical connection. So uh, yeah, go ahead and grab hold of that, my love. And I'll just pull on this cable <laughs> Basically, that is the problem. <laughs> hey. So I had to strip those cables back a fair old way, as you can see, in order to actually gain access to some decent copper. But now, in theory, we should be able to test this Clearly we need to do a bit of crimping work in a minute, fix up that uh, fix up that alligator clip, dragon clip, crocodile clip, whatever you want to call it. Let's see what happens when we turn this unit on. We've got uh, the DC current meter, independent one there, connected into the negative side of things, and we have this guy set up here. So let's turn it on and see where we go. 22 amps. And this is also reading 19 amps, 18 amps, 17 amps. That's looking like it's working a treat. Happy days. 
All right, time to drill out the old rivet. It's not beautiful by any stretch of the imagination, but um, I've been able to crimp that on there. Might hit it with a hammer a few times. I've got a mate of mine give me a bit of a hand with it. We're going to go ahead and use a nut and bolt as opposed to a crimp. You got that one? That's, to be honest, that felt, that felt pretty tight, mate. So, happy days. Thank you very much. Connect it up. There we go. Look at that. And we are pulling... We are pulling about 4.3 amps, something along those lines. That's all looking pretty good, Pete. Happy days. A good engineer goes in with his eyes and his ears first before getting all hands on and sorting stuff out. Anyway, hope you enjoyed having a good look around that battery charger. What a beast of a machine that is. 40 amps at 24 volts for charging coach batteries and other automotive batteries at 12 volts as well. <laughs> this is like proper April Fool's Day for me. Oh man, I couldn't figure out where that fault was. And eventually it all became clear when the cable pulled away from the crocodile clip. Thanks ever so much for watching. Please don't forget, give us a good old thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers and beers, people. I've got to clean up. Bye for now.